Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add colors to objects. Okay, so I've got my default scene here. So we have this cube here. So with your object selected, if you go down to this tab here, material properties tab, click on that. You'll see there's already a material on it. So this will be the color that this object is. So if you go up here, this will let you see materials in the viewport. So as you can see the cube's now white. So we have one material on the object. So that material is being applied to all of this. So if you scroll down a bit, you have base color. So if you left click on this white square here, you get the color wheel up and you can just left click and it will change the color of your object. So let's say we want a, um, a purple, purple object. If you want to make it darker or lighter, you can use this bar on the side. So you can hold it and drag it up and down, or you can just left click to uh, just jump. So I'm going to leave that at the top. Nice bright purple. At the top, you can press this plus button and it will add a new slot to your materials. So like this hasn't added a new material yet. It's just added a new space. So with that space, you can click this drop down you can click a material that's already in your blender. So we only have the one material. Your system like in our viewport. So we click new, we'll get a new material. So if we change this base color again, you know, let's say we want this green and you've up to green. Nothing on this object has changed because this purple is our base layer. And we've just added this one in now, um, but we haven't assigned it to any spaces on the object. So with your object selected, press tab to get into edit mode. You'll know you're in edit mode if it says edit mode top left. And then you want to go to face select. Okay, so let's say we want this top one here to be green. You can go over to your materials panel, left click on your second material. And then you have these options here, deselect, select, assign. So you want to hit assign. So now that's set that material to that space. So let's say I want the bottom to match. I could just left click this bottom here. Click like that and then assign. So now these two are green. Uh, you don't have to do it one at a time. You can select multiple. Like if I left click this and then shift left click, I've selected the two faces. And then I can assign this material and it will assign it to both. So you, know, you can select a bunch of faces and just hit assign, it will assign them to them faces. So you have select down here. You know, let's say I wanted to quickly select all the faces that are purple on my object. I can just click on the purple material and I can hit select. Now, as you can see, it's selected these two faces because these are the only two purple ones on my object. And uh, if I deselect that and then select the green and then select select, that will select the green. You know, let's say I have all these faces selected. You know, let's say I want to deselect the purple. You can just click on the purple and then deselect. And then it's deselected them two faces. Okay. I was going to set that back to purple. I'm going to set the top and bottom to be green. If you're using a lot of materials, obviously you don't want them all to be called material. So you can double click and you'll have the option to, you know, write in the space. I want to call that base, then hit enter, then that's base. It's also changed it down here. So if you click on my tail, you can also change it in the space here. And it'll also change it up there. Yeah, so then let's say I have a, a sphere. I don't want it to be um, this green color on here. Left click your object so it's selected. And then you click new to add a new space, but you don't need a new material because you're just looking for this green one. So you can click this drop down and then go to green. And then you've got the same green from this object on this object. Because it's the same material on both of these. If you, if you select the sphere and you edit the sphere material, as you can see, it also changes the material on the uh, cube as well. Uh, so if, if I tab into 
if I tap into this object, I'm going to hold Alt and Shift. I'm just going to click these three lines here. So holding Alt will select a loop. And holding Shift lets me click the other two lines so I can get three. Now I'm going to add this plus here. Go to this drop down, go to base, and I'm going to assign. So now I've so now I've put the purple from this onto this. And then you know if you wanted a new material, you can just hit the new uh, the new new space, then add new material. Yep. And then I'll pull that down to red, make it a bit darker. Tab into edit mode. I'm going to press C for circle select. And I'm just going to left click this ring here, right click to get out of circle select, and then I'm going to hit assign. So now we have the uh, dark red up here. So you know, I can just click that, dark red. So then if we click on this one down here, it doesn't have the dark red material on it because these are, when you add, when you click this plus button and you select your material, you're selecting that material for this object. So I've added the dark red to this object, but not to this one. Yeah, you know, but if I did want to, I could just hit this little drop down and I could uh, select it from there. You know, so I like added add a new space and then add it from there. And then if I hit tab, I will uh, select this top one here. Dark red, assign that. And then that's on there. Uh, but yeah, you know, let's say oh I don't I don't want the dark red on there anymore. I don't I don't need that material on this object. You can just hit this minus button, remove material slot. So that will remove it from the object. It's not removed it from your blender file. As you can see the red is still on here and it's still here. The red is still on this drop down. It's only removed it from the materials on this object. Okay, so let's say this is a tree, this is a rock, this is the ground. Um, so I'll just add a new material there. New material here, I'll make that a, uh, a grey. I'll make this a different kind of green. Like that. I'm going to plus this new. I'm going to add a brown for the uh, base of the tree. Probably like that. I'm going to hold Alt, left click, so it selects the ring. And then it's Assign. Let's tab into the, out of that. You know, this isn't a modeling tutorial, this is just, um, I'm just talking about materials. If you duplicate an object, it will keep uh, the same materials assigned to the same places. So material mode lets you see the materials, but render mode will let you see um, the whole shebang. So if you look at this um, floor here, you see there's a big, um, you know, a big shiny area. So that's the light coming from this light here. So this light here is making the shiny bit here. Uh, but you know, your grass isn't that shiny. Uh, so what's causing this like plastic look is um, specula. So the specular set at uh, 0 0.5 at the moment. Uh, so if you reduce that, it will reduce the, um, you know, it will reduce how um, how like glossy it is. Yeah, you know, it's the same for these uh, same for these tree leaves as well. Turn that glossy down. Yes, yeah, so now now it looks better because it's not it doesn't have that plastic shine to it. Uh, but, okay, let's get a cube. And let's add a new material to it. Uh, let's move this so it's not directly above it. Get a bit of better lighting. So here's our cube. You know, let's say we want to make this look like a metal. Um, like let's make this like, a metal color. Uh, so that will be the metallic slider. And uh, the roughness also plays a part in this. Um, so I normally just left click and uh, just drag the slider and just and just see what I want. Oh, I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to render options up here. And I'm just going to enable. I'm going to enable ambient occlusion bloom. 
uh, screen displays reflections. I think we should be able to see that better now. Yeah, so as we increase our metallic, um, you, know, you can kind of see it's like more shiny and it's also um, to show the green from the um, from the floor. You can play around with our specular. Probably leave that. So with roughness, it's basically as it sounds. If you go all the way to the right, it's like rough, I guess. Uh, so it's not super shiny. Uh, but if you go to the left, um, you know, it's like it's so um, you know, there's like there's no roughness to it. So it's it, like you can see the rock in in it now. Like you can see the reflection. Like it's that shiny. It's um, it's it's like become uh, reflective. I'm going to press shift A and get a cube in again. Let's say I want to put a glowing material on this object here. Uh, so new material. And you can go down to emission. Okay, so, so black is no emission. Yeah, so it lifts this bar up to white. And let's make it, um, let's make it like a red. So then you can go to emission strength. And this will be like how strong the light is. Yeah, so if you turn that up quite high, that's a, um, yeah, it's quite a strong light. Especially if you have bloom turned on, you can really see um, the effect the light's having. Okay, so let's say I um, duplicate this cube and put this cube above this light here. So this cube here is casting this shadow over here. And obviously that's making these darker. Um, but it's not making these objects darker here. Because the emiss emissive material is making act like a light, you can't have shadows on a direct light source. Um, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect that. So we have our objects and our materials on them. But our world is grey. So if you go to world properties, you have a color tab here, and this color is set to gray. That's why our world is currently gray. So you want to left-click that, and you want to make um. Well, it it depends what kind of environment you're going for. Uh, but since we've like since I've gone for like a a more outdoorsy uh, scene, uh, I'll just lighten this up a bit, and I'll make it like I'll make it a bit blue. So you know, just just mimicking the sky. The color of the sky will affect your object as well. You know, the world colour is all around the objects. So that world colour will affect um, your objects. Uh, so, you know, if we make it a... a um, like, let's say we make the world dark purple for every reason. You can see that this shadow and, like, just this overall rock... Like, this bit is, like, a little bit more purple. But you can really see it in the shadows. Like, that's just a harsh purple there. Yeah, let's set that back to a subtle blue. Okay, so then we can just... Um, Render, render image. Uh, so there you go. That's the uh, that's the basics of adding materials to objects. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe. I also have a main channel where I talk about games, and I um, I've been learning to make games as well. Uh, so I have some videos about that on my main channel. Uh, go check that out if you get bored. And uh, thanks for watching.